Jeez. Those are just going outside. I don't even care about privacy anymore. Screw privacy. Oh, wait! Um. And privacy. Or privacy is important. Yeah. You did not hear me say that. Oh, folks, I'm the one, the only hobo town. You know I'm the one, the only hobo town, because, well, I have my friend with shirt on. But I'm here to talk about pro wrestling. Not to show you the chaos. Chaos! Going on in my house. Right now, cleaning up from the hurricane stuff. Probably today, or tonight. You should see both videos. Um, I'm posting right now my hurricane... Aftermath, Aftermath and during, and during a little bit. Wow, the light's really terrible in this place when I open that up. That's weird. It's shadowy. <laughs> shadowy for Halloween, I guess. Who knows? Um, hopefully, I will be celebrating Halloween. Although, I'm having a trick or tr I'm having a trick going through that freaking closet floor. <laughs> Enough about that, though. You know what? Because I posted a video about how to make cheesecakes. Let's do something else positive. Hit my music. There we go. I don't care about camp leaving water. I have my own issues. I have enough water. We've got enough water to last for a very, very, a very long time. Actually, that doesn't matter, because it's all in the ground now. All getting purified by Mother Nature, I hope. But again, we have some wrestling to talk about. I'm sorry I couldn't make a thumbnail for this. Again, chaos! Mother efforts. Um, you know what? I don't know. I might be able to keep that. That smell. I just had to get rid of that. I just had to talk. Yeah, I just dumped that somewhere. I still do that. That's okay, though. Let's talk about some wrestling. Again, two. That's right, folks. Two big shows are coming this weekend. I'm sure Dr. Tom is dealing with hurricane stuff. El Vagabundo Hobo Dose is dealing with hurricane stuff. And the Broken One is probably having a party or some kind of godforsaken orgy somewhere. So it's just me, the one and only Hobo Town, giving you all the predictions for this weekend's big wrestling shows, because there's two of them. Impact, Bound for Glory, and WWE Extreme Rules. And I still have a whole bunch of thank yous to give out. I don't know. I shall be getting those eventually. I'm sorry, it's just a matter of time. I have to list my priorities. Yep. Getting rid of funky stuff. In the garbage bag. Garbage bag. Not, funky. Not funky. 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 Stuff is priority. So yeah. So, yeah. I, didn't I didn't realize. There were two punch bowls here. Indeed. And of course I saved the portrait. The Colin Hall. I saved the portrait of Dorian Gray. Me. As a kid. That my dad commissioned. And almost got divorced over. But let's talk about, let's, let's do but some fun stuff. Let's have up some pro wrestling. Let's get this stuff in order. Because Friday, 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 Friday. It's Impact Bound for Glory. More people will probably be watching, except for more people are probably stuck like me. So again, I can't do any live streaming probably for a, at least a month. Oh, geez. I hope to God that's not water in the electrical sockets. I'd be so screwed. Ah, wait a second. Ah, what am I thinking? Impact, Bound for Glory. Let's start off with a ma match we could all probably skip because I don't think anything great is going to happen during it. We have Brian Myers versus someone. It's a mystery opponent. You know what? They're going to keep Brian Myers probably holding that uh, digital media championship for a while. Uh, so I don't see him dropping that belt soon. Brian Myers wins. You know what? If you're tuning in late, fine. You want to take a nap? Like I would be doing probably even better. But yeah, Brian Myers is going to win that match. Then we have a gauntlet match. And they're still listing people 
only because Bobby Fischer showed up in Impact. And Impact has an amazing track, track record when it comes to dealing with professional wrestlers coming from the WWE, AEW, wherever. Right? Unless you're like Bandito or, or unless you're coming from AAA. Even then, every so often, they really did push Black Toru stuff. So, yeah, so you know what, though? The gauntlet match, which I think is like almost a battle royal. Bobby Fish wins. Oh, wait a second. Why do I need a pause there? I don't need that. I need a pause there. That's a normal match. Next match, we have Mickey James versus Mia Yim. In this match, something from Mickey James has to fall out. That's the only way she could go out. I have Mia Yim winning. It's interesting because it's a face-on-face -face situation. Mia Yim could pin Mickey James, give her a big hug, a wet, sloppy kiss with a tongue, and a, and a, a JJ grab. But, um, yeah, Mickey James could get the face going out. Mia Yim gives her a big hug, cries, gives her a big kiss on the lips. Um, the whole women's locker room comes out. Yeah, thank you, Mickey James. Thank you, Mickey James. As Mickey James is readjusting her top, as she always does. So yeah, I think Mia Yim's gonna win. Then we then we have VXT, which is Diana Perazzo and Chelsea Green. You can't see the door of wrestling, but I do have Chelsea Green's autograph. Um, yeah, she was something else, and I think she was Chelsea Green for a while because she couldn't have been Laurel Van Ness. Or was she? I think she was Chelsea Green in NXT. And maybe for the twice she showed up on the main roster. But yes, um, Chelsea Green and Diana Perazzo, um, they're VXT. The Death Dolls. This is Ty of Valkyrie. I forget, I, I forget if it's Ty of Valkyrie and Jessica Havoc. Or if it's going to be Rosemary and Jessica Havoc. It's some combination of, of the, of the um, Freebirds. Of Rosemary, Jessica Havoc, and Taya Valkyrie. So yeah, that's for the uh, knockouts belts. Death Dolls are going to win. They're going to do something with the other two later. In my stone cold lock of the night... Mike Bailey is going to retain his X Division Championship against Frankie Kazarian. Frankie Kazarian's a part timer. He will win against lower people or in tags. They're not going to put a belt on Frankie Kazarian, I don't think. But yeah, Mike Bailey is retaining that championship. Again, it's my stone cold lock. And then we have the King, and then in my match of the night, because I looked at the last two matches, and this is going to be the match of the night, folks. The Kingdom of the Miracle Mike Bennett and Matt Tavin, along with the ever badonka donkish. <laughs> I've never used that word before. Badonka donkish. Uh, Maria Canales. She does have a badonka donk. Um, the Kingdom versus Motor City. Motor City and the Motor City Machine Guns. Alex Shelley and the other guy. And I forget his name. Shoot. Yeah, so Motor City. Motor City Machine Guns are winning. They're going to get those tag belts back. Because this will set up things. Or at least in my head, it sets up things. And I'll get to that at the end of this section of the video at least. Then in the women's, uh, for the knockout division, Jordan Grace versus Masha Slamovich. I think of all the goofy things Jordan Grace has been saying, Impact's going to say, hey, we need you to tranquilo a little bit. They're going to put the belt on Masha Slamovich. She can be the dominant heel monster woman that Impact is kind of known for. Again, thinking about going back, you have Awesome Kong, ODB. Um, then you have the bimbos that, that would hold the belt. So, yeah, Impact likes either their women being monsters or being bimbos that hold that belt. 
And every so often there's a weird in between. Unless you're a MILF. Yeah. MILFs, bimbos, and monsters. MBM. That's what impact looks. And then, in the main event of the evening, we have Joshua Alexander, the walking weapon. Bad techno dub music. I do apologize. Taking on Eddie Edwards. Now, this is where it gets interesting, I think. I think Eddie Edwards is going to win. The reason why I say that, Eddie Edwards has been a real dick recently to certain members of Honor No More. Putting the belt on Eddie Edwards and taking the belts off the kingdom makes Eddie Edwards... What is that funny? Yam something. Phallic yam. <laughs> Make some head phallic yam. Or the head dictator. Ha! I still have from the fat electrician. That's a good one. But this way, Eddie Edwards can be the bigger dick heel. And really say, hey, listen, I'm the leader because I have the freaking belt. You must listen to me. So I think that's what's going to happen. That would actually be pretty cool. So yeah, Eddie Edwards is going to defeat Joshua Alexander. So you know what? Let's take a little break. And let's go to Extreme Rules. ECW, ECW, ECW. So yeah, um, it's not Friday and they do change these matches. And it's not Thursday. In fact, it's not, yeah, it's not Friday morning yet. So Impact, they could change those matches. I don't know, I'll figure that out then. But this is WWE, WWE Extreme Rules. From what I could get off the internet. And this looks pretty good. They'll probably have some uh, pre-show. Again, I'll write down all my winners and losers of stuff, and hopefully I'll get back to you guys Monday. Don't guarantee anything, though. Again, chaos, garbage to take care of. And this office is getting kind of funky. Because this is... The, off, the good thing about the office in my house is that it tends to stay cold, coolest the longest and or warmest the longest. But it just retains stuff because it's that one weird corner with only two small windows. And as you can see, right into there, into the bathroom. The main bathroom. Whereas the bedroom has the super big window. It gets hottest the first and stays hottest. Like this office tends to be more a medium temperature. The office gets hot and cold. Again, it has a big, big base size window, the smaller window. The great room is just massive, and the lanai during the winter time and, is, and well during the summer is a massive greenhouse. So yeah, so again, chaos, garbage. So let's see here. Um, so WWE Extreme Rules, ECW. We are extreme. And I forget the stipulations. Um, oh yeah, this is a Donnie Brook, the Brawling Brutes versus Imperium. This is going to be... This was almost my match of the night. But it wasn't, though. I don't care about my... Close ad. Um, why did it do that? Do weird stuff, man. Uh, let's see here. I have Imperium winning. The Brawling Brutes are good. But I think they want to put the belts on Imperium first. Sheamus has been around forever, so he gives him a little rub. Imperium wins. Next, we have an I Quit. Or a No Mas match, as I like to say every so often. So it sounds cooler in Spanish. We have Edge. You think you know me. Versus Prince Devitt. Oh, I mean, Frugal Devitt. No, I mean, Finn Balor. Prince Finn Balor, Bullet Club, because he's too sweet for life. Heart persons are training for thousand bits. The 
no idea what the hell that is. Let's see. I don't care. I think I turned my computer off so long, like, all the ads are just finally showing up all of a sudden. So, yeah, I have Finn Balor winning. They're going to get rid of Edge for a little bit. So, yeah, this will set up something probably for Survivor Series. So, you, you could, in theory, have the Judgment. Actually, that would be pretty cool. The Judgment Knight. Judgment Knight versus... So, you could have all four in a... War Games! So you have Judgment Knight, a Finn, Damien, Damien Priest, Finn Balor, and Dominic Mysterio, and if you wanted to include Rhea Ripley, taking on AJ Styles, Edge, Rey Mysterio, and you know just for a ha -ha's, tossing Candice LeRae. So it would work out. Or you can have the three men and those three men take out the two ladies. That would be fine. Then, in, oh, I thought that's my Stone Cold Lock. Oh, yeah, I know why. Then in my Stone Cold Lock of the Night, you have Bianca Belair versus Bailey. Um, I have Bianca Belair winning only because Bailey stood tall Monday Night Raw. And I'm worried if they do something goofy on SmackDown, how they'll affect it. I have Bianca Belair retaining her championship. Again, this will lead into War Games for Survivor Series, where you have Bianca Belair, Asuka, and Alexa Bliss taking on Bailey, Io Sky, which is a great name, actually, and Dakota Kai. So that kind of makes sense. And if they want to throw a fourth one in there, who knows? Um, again, that's my stone cold lock of the night. And then, in the yeah. March de la Noche. To honor El Hobo Del Vagabundo, wow, five, who knows. Um, I mean, Matt Riddle versus Seth Rollins. Matt Riddle's going to win this. This is his match in the cage fight, whatever it is. Oh, yeah, the Bianca Belair Bailey, that's a ladder match, too, so ladders get screwy. I'd never want to compete in a ladder match. Just ask Joey Mercury. Watch my nose explode. And you know what? Is that the main event? Might be the main event. I don't know. Because yeah, I thought it's the last. That's the last one. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, there might be one more. I'll just say, yeah. So again, if you want to take a nap through this match, Liv Morgan versus Ronda Rousey. This is a match really to take a nap through. Ron Rose is going to win. Enough of the shenanigans with Luther Morgan. And you know what? Just in case. See, they could do that too. I'll say they change things up. They put in Roman Reigns versus, say, someone. Roman Reigns is going to win. So yeah, Roman Reigns versus someone. Roman Reigns wins. So those are my picks for this entire weekend. I would like to thank everyone for watching. Please like, share, comment, subscribe. Yes, I will try to put as much content out as I can during this most tumultuous period of chaos. Again. Garbage chaos. So yeah, as I can, I can't, I cannot, however, guarantee anything. Jeez, this is going freaking bonkers today. TXX. Ooh, I know what that is. Yeah, I'd like to thank everyone for watching. Please like, share, comment, subscribe. Let YouTube know, hey, 
monetize all those people in Florida. Give them a little extra scratch to take care of themselves and their families with during this probably time of need. Again, I'd like to thank everyone for watching. Please like, share, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you guys later sometime. Oh yeah, hopefully I'm still planning to do the Havoc of Halloween. I hope. I have to figure out stuff for that. Again, and then I still want to get a little bit into um, some Triple Mania. Because it's the last Triple Mania. I'll definitely be doing a, something for that, I hope. Again, I'd like to thank everyone for watching. Please like, share, comment, subscribe. And tell YouTube. Say, YouTube, you want to be serious about all this junk and, and stuff and say, hey, send money for the Red Cross. No. Let us hobos work for it. Because I'm a hobo. I work for a living. I'm no bum. I don't want people just to shove money at me. I want to earn my living. So, yeah. Tell YouTube, hey. So, don't be a phallic yam. And just monetize these people. Like, have a heart, you son of a...